listening to the BBC World Service. I'm Tim Franks and this is News Hour. And coming up on our programme. Hi-ya! Giving Ebola a sharp slap. Can music and film succeed where advice from the authorities has failed? The Ebola virus has killed more than 1,300 people in West Africa and sowed fear among millions more. There's also more broadly been the continuing problem of fear and ignorance and suspicion about what people can do themselves to help staunch the spread of the disease. In Sierra Leone, We Own TV is a media education group running a campaign called Kick Ebola Out of Sierra Leone to try and help educate people about the virus. They spoke to one survivor, Hassan, He'd sought help after his mother died of Ebola and he feared that his wife and child might contract the illness. So, Mr. If I take my phone, now I call the number, wouldn't they announce now? Radio say for call, we're now 117. So, I took my phone and called the number, which has been announced on the radio, which is 117. Then the medical people came and took me, my wife, and child away. After we were tested, they found out I was the only one with Ebola. And I believe this because I helped my mother when she was ill. So I showed them, the medical staff, the women who washed my mother when she died. They came for them, but one of them ran away to the bush with the help of her child. The other one, Yamari, came to the hospital with them. Yamari was not happy because I identified her, but when she saw the effects of Ebola on people, she was happy she came to hospital. Yamari not being glad at all, we are pointing. But when himself see how this Ebola the hospital has good doctors and nurses. They made me realize that because we came early, we had a better chance for survival. My people, the good news is that some of us who reported early survived because of the treatment we have been given at the hospital. So you see, we are a part of the number of people who are being discharged. I found out that the other woman, who helped to wash my mother and ran away into the bush with her child, died. Because they're not get treatment. Well, another route to try and spread the word on public health is through music. Lansana Mansare is a producer for We Own TV who's currently stranded in Britain because planes won't fly to the countries worst affected with the disease. Back in his home country, Sierra Leone, he's best known as a rapper using the name Barmy Boy. And he's just written and released a song to help spread awareness. It's called Pack and Go. Ebola in the nation is like another civil war again. People are dying, nations are crying. We need more attention. Ebola, gonna lie, you lie, lie. From where you come, people and they cry, cry. Left and right, the people and they die, die. Well, basically, the song itself is meant, especially, you know, for young people. It's like a motivation song for the young people. We're also calling for people to, to pay more attention to the outbreak out there. But also motivating, as I said, the young people to step up, you know, stand up and, you know, and take the lead in helping, to, in helping the health authorities, in helping the government, making sure they create awareness, making sure their families are safe and healthy, making sure they take precautions. People should treat it seriously and join hands in the efforts to kick it out and calling medical health um, officers to come and take the sick ones, you know, to, to hospital and make sure, you know, they take all necessary precautions, but, you know, not eating bushmeat, as they said, and um, don't touch Stop, you know, shaking hands, avoid big gatherings and all this stuff that the government is saying. Are there people in your country who don't take the disease seriously? Yes, it is a bit of that in Sierra Leone. You know, people just don't want to face the reality. That is one of the problems that leads to, the, you know, this big spread as it is now. When you're talking to people back in Sierra Leone, I know you're in the United Kingdom at the moment, but when you're yep. talking to people back home, do you, do you get a sense that... There is a difference now in the way people are approaching this, that, that there is a sense of a sort of a common cause and a common endeavour to, to try and beat the disease. Yes, because, you know, there was a bit of panic in Israel. And like when I speak to my family members and friends, you can sense that there's a bit of panic and people are starting to take it really serious. And people are starting to see it as, you know, they have a role to play to make sure they are safe and healthy together as a nation. And tell me about you. I mean, you're speaking to me from the north of England. What, what have you been doing here? Well, you know, whole city and Freetown has been linked for the past you know, 30 years now. 
this is my fifth visit to the UK, and I've been doing some projects in schools, basically, using films, short films, using photograph and music to help kids to learn about life and um, um, where I live, about my life and life in Sierra Leone for, you know, kids going to school also. And am I right in thinking that you're having difficulty getting back home right now? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I am kind of stranded actually because I was due to fly back, but my my flight was cancelled due to this um, the outbreak. So, I mean, do you, do you want to go back at the moment, or are you are you worried about going back? Yeah, well, at it is now. You know, I'm very worried for my people, especially my parents and my brothers and sisters that are out there. And um, I mean, the, the most important thing is, you know, making sure I'm safe also. But I'm quite worried, you know, and I'm hoping to go back very soon actually. Are they telling you to to stay put? Yeah, they're telling me to stay put and be safe, you know. But, you know, I strongly hope that this, you know, this disease is beaten. It's a long fight, but I, you know, I call on all Sierra Leoneans to stand up and to help to kick it out, you know. And that is why I said pack and go. It's a freestyle song, street vibes, especially for the youth, them out the road. Take precautions, be safe. Serious times, this is a fun thing. Keep safe and healthy, yeah? Fire Supreme Rhythm, we on TV from the case. Every day on the rise and shine, it's another day. Pack and go advice to the Ebola virus from Barmy Boy, also known as Lansana Mansare. That's it from News Out, from all of us here in London. Thanks for your company.